When it comes to e-commerce retailers, there's nothing like Amazon. And thanks to their massive inventory of products, they are also an amazing source for e-commerce data and analytics. In this case, we will be focusing on scraping Amazon product reviews. You can use this data for sentimental analysis, product comparisons, to find new product opportunities, and more. For this project, we will use Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper that can extract data from any website. Make sure to download and install Parsub for free through the link in the description or at parsub.com. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of things. Here's how to scrape Amazon reviews. For this example, we will scrape reviews from this listing for an Acer laptop. Download and open Parsub, click on new project, and submit the URL you will be scraping. The page will now render inside the app. Scroll down to the first review in the list and click on the reviewer's name. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. The rest of the reviewer names in the list will be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second and the third one in the list to select them all. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to review. Click on the plus sign next to your review selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the reviewer's name and the rating under it. An error will appear to show the association you're creating. You might need to repeat this step with the second review to fully train the scraper. Rename your selection to rating. Repeat the previous steps to also pull the review's title, date, location, content, and any other additional data you'd want to scrape. Your project should now look like this. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. So far, Parsub is only scraping the first page of reviews. We will now set up Parsub to scrape multiple pages of data. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Using the select command, scroll all the way down to the next page link. Click on it to select it and rename your selection to next. Click on the icon beside your next selection to expand it. Delete the two commands under the next selection. Click on the plus sign beside your next selection and add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat the process. In this case, we will repeat it five times. It is now time to run your scrape. To do this, Click on the green Get Data button in the left sidebar. Here, you will be able to test, schedule, or run your scrape job. For larger projects, we recommend that you always test your job before running it. In this case though, we will run it right away. Once your run is completed, you will be able to download it as an Excel or JSON file. You now know how to scrape Amazon review data. If you're interested in scraping more Amazon data, check out our in-depth video on how to scrape product data from Amazon. Just click on the card that is on the screen right now. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, Scraping, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.